All right, today we're going to do a quick video of a Tram D201A I just redone. Um, got new wood side panel, solid wood. Um, cleaned it up, tested the tubes, um, went through all the electrolytics. Got new electrolytics um, throughout, tested the resistors. Uh, most of the power resistors have been replaced with uh, blue flame proof resistors. Everything uh, tested in intolerance. Uh, 6L6 audio tube and 6L6 final. Um, someone did uh, cut a hole in the back and had mounted a fan. We took a big ugly fan off and just put a screen uh, to cover the hole. Um, this guy isn't in mint shape. I'd say just average condition looks wise, but uh, then went through, put a lot of hours in it going through it. It looks really good underneath. Um, fairly clean, but definitely not meant just average condition. And we're just gonna play with some of the toys we set up over Christmas here. Just gonna key it down for the transmit right quick. Got the uh, MFJ giant watt meter on average, doing about a uh, two and a half watt, something like that. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Talking to about uh, five, six watts. On average, whistling to about seven, and that's on the stingy MFJ, which reads uh, just like a bird watt meter. I do have birds, but I like the uh, big MFJ because it's big. Hello, hello, hello. Front of the tram key down. Audio, and because I get a lot of people asking, of course, I'm transmitting into a dummy load. And actually, uh, it goes into the free counter and into the dummy load there, the MFJ dummy load, so we're not over the air doing this. And also, we have connected the uh, toys I've been playing with. <clears throat> One is the uh, REA modulation monitor. dead key doesn't show watts but it shows your modulation and the reason I'm putting up this video is I wanted to show the audio and this is a uh, almost completely stock tram except the uh, modulation has been opened up and this has that infamous um, um, what do they call that bias I forgot what they call the bias, but uh, it's got the new bias with the grounded cathode on the fi uh, final tube. So it does a little bit more audio than the uh, cathode bias tube. But other than that, it's almost completely stock. Did keen about two and a half watts. Well, we got the um, wave node uh, watt meter going over here too. Some of the digital toys we hooked up and playing with. And you can see it's dead keen about two watts. Hello, 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 hello. Talking over 16 peak. Hello, hello, hello. Audio, audio. But the thing I found the most interesting is the uh, REA modulation monitor only goes to 160%. I can't change that or set that and it's peaking that in the corner on the top non-modulated mic no special mods or anything this radio is uh, pretty close to 100% uh, stock except it does transmit on the uh, VFO and you can move the uh, transmit with the clarifier but other than that, no real mods. And here it goes, a stock Tram D201A with the factory negative bias on the final. Hello, 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 hello. And the limiter removed. Audio on the REA digital modulation meter. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, audio. 
Audio. Hello, 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 hello. So we just thought that was interesting that, uh, again, nothing talks like a tram. That's it for this video. Bye-bye.